In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to your Cisco modeling lab using an SSH or Telnet client such as PuTTY or Secure CRT. When you work on a Cisco modeling lab to connect to each switch, you need to go to each switch and go to the open console and then you need to adjust this one and then only you can connect to your switch. If you want to connect to your second switch, you need to go here and then go to console and open a separate console. And then for each node, you have to go to individual console. As of now, Cisco Modeling Lab is not offering a console interface with tab option so you can connect to separate nodes using different tabs. So you have all your nodes in just one interface and you can toggle between them to configure separate nodes. So that is not available currently in the Cisco modeling lab. That is why you need to use an external program that have this option such as Secure CRT or PuTTY or any other Telnet or SSH client. To be able to do that, go to your DevNet sandbox and then look at the server IP. This is the Cisco Modeling Lab server IP. Grab this IP, copy, and open your secure CRT and establish a new session. This is going to be an SSH session. Click Next and put the IP address here and put the username. It's going to be developer. Next. Hit finish. Now you have the session created and now you double click on it to connect it. Now it's going to ask the password. Go here. This is the password. Put your password. Hit OK. Now you are connected. In the console prompt, type in list. It's actually list. Now you can see all your lab and node details. If you want to connect to your switch one, type in open forward slash and you need to copy everything. This is the lab name. And then you put the node, that's S1. And this is your console line number zero. One is an auxiliary number, you see, the auxiliary is not for the desktop because desktop doesn't have an auxiliary port like switches does. And then you put the number zero. That is a console port number. Now hit. Now you are connected. Here you go. You are on switch one now. So now open a separate tab, clone session, list, and then connect to your S2. Open forward slash. This is for S2. Paste S2, 0. Now you are on to switch 2. So this way you can connect to all of your switches and you have separate tab for each of them. I'm also going to show you how to use PuTTY to connect to CML server. Open your PuTTY app and go to the CML server IP address. Copy that. Paste it here. This is going to be a SSH connection, hit open, you will get this login screen. If you are connecting for the first time, you will get an authentication screen to accept the server SSL cert. Now I am connecting second time, so I'm not getting that message. Login is developer, that's the username, and the password is this one, copy and paste. Now you are into consoles, list to connect to your S1 switch, copy the lab name, open forward slash lab name and the node name is S1 and the line number is zero. Now you are into switch one configuration. So this is an easy way to work in the Cisco modeling lab. If this video is helpful to you, give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification for my future video updates.